hello and welcome to tech tool india in this video i am going to explain you how you can upgrade your laravel version from laravel 8 to laravel 9 as you all know laravel 9 has recently launched whatever project you are working might be in the laravel 8 and for better support and for better features you should update your project to laravel 9 so without wasting any time let's get started if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe our channel to get more such videos in future. I am going to use tech admin which is a Laravel 8 admin panel. If you want to know how you can create this panel or use this panel, you can click on the i button or see the description. You will get the link of the video where you can see how we have created this tech admin. So this admin panel is included with the bootstrap four and laravel eight so i'm going to upgrade it to laravel nine so let's go to the documentation and see what we have to do in order to update into laravel nine so if you go to the laravel.com and you see this upgrade guide let's go and see what we need to update for updating the dependency it requires at least php 8.0.2 so i already updated my php to 8.1 so it's already fulfilled next what we need to do we need to go into composer.json file and update these two fields for laravel framework we need to update to 9.0 so let's open the composer.json file as you see my current version of the laravel is 8.83 so let's see where we have it's right now it's 8.75 so we need to do it 9.0 as per the documentation and next thing which we need to update is the collision let's find where it is here what we need to update we need to update it to 6.1 so let's save it file So the next thing which we need to do, we need to replace the, this facade ignition with this one. Let's find out this in here, composer.json and replace it with this new package. As we are good here, we have updated the composer. Now let's see what other update we need to do in order to get this updated in Laravel 9 now it depend on your project if you have used these are the things like session testing queues so you need to check for each of the updates and you need to update those things but i'm not using any such things in my project so i'm just skipping this part you need to read whole document in order to get all the detail of what is needs to be updated on the project so I have updated everything. Let's go ahead, you know, and run the composer update command and let's see what it does. So it updated all the composer dependency. Let's see what current version of Laravel it has. You see the current version of Laravel is 9.1.0. Let's go to the application and see if it is working fine or not. So I'm going to refresh this page. This page is loading fine. I'm going to use admin credential. Logged in. I can log in with the admin credential. I have a list of user. I can go to the new. Create test user. Let's give it a user. Save this. So I am able to save this. If I disable this, I can able to disable, enable, if I go to edit and just inactivate it, update this. Yes. So you see, I am able to do all the operation in my application. I could able to logged out. I can log out. So everything seems to working as of now. Two major thing which you need to take care while upgrading your application from Laravel 8 to Laravel 9. First is to take a backup of your application, including your database and storage so that you don't lose any kind of data. Second is to you have to read all the up, 
upgrade guide from the laravel.coms in order to make sure like you have updated everything because what application i have updated it's it's just a basic application with user management so i have not used many features of the laravel in this application that's why it takes quick you know uh, upgrade for me to upgrade the application from 8 to 9 but for it it could be the different case in your application so make sure like when you are upgrading your laravel project from 8 to 9 you need to follow all the documented details here in the documentation while upgrading if you face any issue just let me know in the comment section i'll try to resolve it for you if you found this video informative please do subscribe our channel till the next video keep watching keep learning thank you for watching